Hi, in this video I'm going to quickly compare the Everkey Atlas to the Titan and I've got this Osprey Nebula just to show you some differences. Right, this is my eight-year-old Titan. You can see it's no longer holding itself up nicely. It's all flaccid and for the most part it's still intact. Yes, the badge is broken. This thing has been lugging around a laptop that weighed close to four kilograms. The only thing that broke on this bag, well I wouldn't say broke but it deteriorated severely, is the arm strap. Right over here it got very thin so it was no longer that comfortable over here. This bag never failed me. The zips never broke, the material never broke, everything remained intact. Now my main pet peeve with this bag was that it didn't come with proper laptop support. So I actually stitched my own additional support here. Now I see the new model is called Business 120 and I see it's also slightly lighter than this particular one. This bag was 2 kilograms and that one is about 60 grams lighter. So it's, it's not even worth mentioning but it is lighter. I have a dull precision laptop and I'll just show you how easy it is to get it in there. You can see that when they say it can handle 18 inches, well, this is a 17.3 laptop and there's plenty of room. If you've got an old generation laptop that's thick, the Titan or the Business 120 is definitely your friend because thick laptops don't have a problem getting into this bag. So you're probably wondering if I still use this bag. The answer is no. And the reason is it's actually too big. I do not require such a big bag for day-to-day -day use. So then I purchased the Nebula. Now you can see this is a major difference. Firstly, this bag weighs quite a lot less than the Titan or the Business 120. The mass of this bag is 1.1 kilograms. This bag is 34 liters, while the Titan or the Business 120 is 40 liters. Now I've used this bag for over a year. What I don't like about this bag are these. My dog chewed these up, so what I had to do is improvise and tie this thread on here. Ultimately, I don't like these zip tags, but I understand that that's what they do to reduce the weight of the bag. So why I don't use this bag? Well, firstly, look at this. It is a very frustrating bag. You've always got to seat it nicely, and it also looks very scruffy. If you have a look at the side, you can see that it's a scruffy bag. Like also at the top there, you can see that there's the shield that goes over the zip, but actually I think it shouldn't even be there. It just adds to the scruffiness. Now this bag cannot fit a 17 inch laptop by design. For example, you can't get this in here. You can't close the bag. Now, if you've only got a small laptop, like this is a 14 inch laptop, and you can see it's quite thin there, it's easily housed in this nebula. There you can see the laptop is fitting snugly in there, still lots of space here, and you can barely notice that there's a laptop in this bag. Now, here's an example of something that's frustrating. You see, I want to pull the zip, and you can see how the bag totally deforms when I try and pull the zip. Just to give you an example of how flimsy the bag is. But don't get me wrong, this is a strong bag. I've gone on long hikes and I've used this bag extensively. It's been very reliable. It's just not that business-like. I find that when I'm wearing this, it's like I'm a college student. Right, this is the Atlas. It comes in two different sizes. This is the 17-inch for the 17-inch laptop. I've had it now for over a year and this is my standard bag that I use daily. What I like about this bag, firstly, if you have a look at it, it doesn't look scruffy. Yes, it weighs a lot more than the Osprey. The Atlas weighs 1.8 kilograms, while this Osprey Nebula weighs 1.1 kilograms. The Titan, on the other hand, is significantly heavier. So there you see them side by side, and you can see there's a significant difference in size. This Titan is huge compared to that Atlas. And if you've got a 17-inch laptop, the Atlas works fine. Now there you can see I've put the laptop in. You will notice that it is a bit snug, but when you close the bag, you'll notice that the laptop does fit. So there you can see the bag has got the laptop inside. It's still able to stand up straight. What I love about this bag. My main pet peeve with this bag is, you see there's the corner of the laptop right at the top. There's nothing to protect this corner of this laptop. So yes, while it fits in there nicely, look at that. If I bump onto a pillar or a pole, that can really damage my laptop. So there you see these corners, they should have been padded. Now the other thing I really like about this laptop is this compartment over here. 
If you're someone who wears sunglasses or glasses or you like to keep some additional accessories here, this is a win. Now the Titan of the Business 120 also has that compartment. And so does the Nebula. So in conclusion, I like the Everkey. This is a very strong bag. I never have to worry if I overload it. For example, this Titan, I've sometimes put a laptop and books completely filling this whole thing up, carrying 20 kilograms and it's never failed. But if you buy a bag like this, be prepared for this to sit quite low on your back. And even if you're a big person, you'll find that this bag still looks big when you're carrying it. There's just no way to get around these dimensions. Now, if you got tired of lugging around this heavy bag, even though there's nothing in it and it still has a significant mass, well, then it's very hard to beat the Osprey. The Osprey is going to give you the lightest bag for arguably one of the best quality bags at this weight. One thing I forgot to mention is just because it's light doesn't mean it's weak. I've carried heavy things in this bag and this bag has never let me down. However, I didn't feel as confident with this bag, obviously because the materials are thinner. What I love about this bag is this waist strap. So you can use the weight strap to reduce the load on your shoulders. The two Everkey bags that I have on display do not come with this waist strap. So here's the compromise. If you're someone like me who doesn't want to look like their bag has been kicked around and lying on the floor, at least this will match an ironed outfit. It's the smallest capacity of the three. The Osprey Nebula is 34 liters, while the Everkey Atlas is 32 liters. So this one is actually smaller. Don't be fooled because when this Osprey is actually packed to its maximum, it becomes a ball. It looks a little bit like a rugby ball and that's very hard to carry and also very uncomfortable because it starts to get a rounded back, which becomes becomes very uncomfortable. This however, when you are carrying your heavy weight, you still got the luxury of the additional padding at the back, but then you are lugging around an extra 800 grams. And if you've got a bodybuilder's back and you're strong, well then you can load this baby up as much as you want because this one can really carry a heavy load. When you load this bag up to its 40 liters, yes, it does have some curvature here, but I can tell you, you can still walk through an airport for the whole afternoon and it won't fail. All right, so in closing, this is my compromise and this is what I'm using daily. Thanks for watching. Cheers.